All right, so for today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the new Milwaukee eight inch diagonal cutters. Now this is a newer offering from Milwaukee Tools. Uh, I guess you can consider them the new player on the block at uh, the Home Depot. Now these are a part of the USA made tools from Milwaukee. Uh, and they have begun to start kicking the Klein tools out and they have begun to replace them with the Milwaukee tools. Uh, so I picked uh, quite a few pairs of them up and decided that I would uh, review them and see how uh, my first reaction was to them. Um, so to start off the video here, we'll take a look at the handles and you can see that they are a nice red handle. Uh, and the one thing I do like about all of the Milwaukee pliers that they are releasing is they all have the tether point on them. Uh, so if you were working with this tool at a... Um, high height uh, and you needed to tether off the tool just in case you dropped it you didn't have to worry about it falling uh they do give you that option uh right there I, I didn't pay attention too much if they had a tether system out for this yet or if you have to provide your own uh, but i would assume they're going to come out with something to tether off the tool um, so there is uh, that is a nice feature, and it comes on both of the dipped handles and the comfort grip handles. Uh, the design of the handles just it's a little bit different. I don't think the comfort grip has the hole. Uh, it's just a part of the handle. It has a big has a loop on the end of it, something like that. Um, so you do have the nice dipped handles, um, and then you do have the USA made uh, or stamps right there. Uh, part of the forging of the plier and um, then you have the milwaukee tool name laser etched onto the surface and then you have your rivets and then the business end of the tool some nice cutting edges and yes i have been messing around with these seeing how well they work um and then with the tool over you have the uh, model number right there which is mt508 and then you have some warnings there on the back obviously this tool is not insulated and it, it advises you to wear eye protection when using the tool um, so there is that. That's pretty much it for the detail on the tool. Uh, pretty, pretty simple, pretty plain. Now, the one thing I do like about these is they came pretty, uh, pretty loose. There was not, not really a break in period with them. Uh, they will, um, hold themselves tight together. Um, but when you do use them in your hand, they are relatively, uh, loose, uh, which I do like. I don't have any issues opening and closing them. They're not super stiff, uh, which I like. Uh, so they're kind of broken, but they're not 100% broken. I'm sure once you start using these over time, uh, you're going to be able to break them in. They'll be super loose. Uh, but it is nice that they come pretty much broken as it is. Um, so now we'll get guess we'll get to the business end of the tool. We'll go ahead and cut through some wire. Uh, so we're going to start off with some solid 14-gauge uh, wire right here. And they have no issue cutting through that. Um, fairly easy. You have to use very little effort to cut through that, which is nice. Now we're going to go ahead and bring in some 12 gauge stranded wire uh, and see if they have any issues cutting through that. And uh, they don't really have any issues uh, cutting through that. Um, not that I know of, or not that I have come across. Uh, it does, you know, cut through the wire fairly easy. As you can see, I'm not really using much uh, force. Uh, to go ahead and cut through that wire so it is super easy to go ahead and cut up some wire so it is nice to see that they um are very sharp um but now we're going to bring in some romax wire here some 12 2 with ground and see if we are able to cut through this one-handed um which i i would assume we are uh, and you can definitely cut it one-handed and you just heard it shoots the uh <laughs> it'll shoot the romax uh flying um so it does have no issue cutting through that 12-2 uh, ground Romex, which is nice. Now, I'm not 100% sure if these are rated to cut through some machine screws, your 632 and your 832 screws uh, specifically, uh, but I might as well decide, might as well just go ahead and see if we can go ahead and chop up this screw uh, with these guys. Like I said, I'm not sure if they're rated to do it. I'm sure they'll do it, but like I said, I'm not sure if they're rated to do it. So if you keep doing it time and time again, uh, if you're either gonna damage the cutting knives or um not able to cut through screws but i figured we'd go ahead and try it out so we'll see if we can cut this guy one-handed uh, and you have no issue whatsoever cutting through that uh, 632 uh screw and i just sent part of it fl flying off into my background um so now we're gonna go ahead and give the 830 seconds or 832 screw a try see if we can do it one-handed definitely a little bit challenging to do um but you are able to do that so go ahead and do that guy one more time um and we'll do it one-handed uh and it does send the screw flying uh but you are able to do that without any issue and as far as i can see 
if we can get the camera to focus. I don't see any damage really done to the cutting knives. Uh, I do still feel sharp, uh, just like they felt when I got them out of the packaging. Um, so uh, overall, first impressions on these, these are definitely a nice pair of pliers from Milwaukee. Now, it will be interesting to see uh, once they clear, clear out all of the client stuff, uh, if they will bring in more of the uh, Milwaukee stuff. they Like I said, they do make these with the comfort grip on them. Uh, and they also make them in, I believe, a six-inch pair, if I'm not mistaken. It's either a six or like a four-inch pair. It's a really small pair uh, that they made. Uh, and it will be interesting to see if they do carry those in store or not. I guess time will tell. Um, but this is my first impression and my first look at the uh, new USA Milwaukee uh, diagonal cutters. And to say I am fairly impressed with them uh, right now. Uh, it is going to see. It is going to be interesting to see how well they hold up over time compared to my Kinepex um, that I use pretty much on a daily basis. Um, I do have a pair of clients. I don't use those as much. They'll sit in my service bag. I don't really use them quite as frequently as I use the ones in my install bag, my uh, Kinepex in my install bag. So I think I'm going to throw these in my install bag uh, as well, and I'm going to use them and see how well they compare to my Kinepex ones uh, and see if um, all the different things that I can throw at them, if they can stay sharp over time. Uh, but with that being said, that's all I have for this video. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. Uh, and if you did like the video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. But that's all I have for this video.